Caterpillar Precision Seals proudly manufactures two primary types of metal face seal, the Duo Cone Seal and the HDDF Seal. Both utilize the same metal face seal concept. However, the Duo Cone Seal consists of two metal seal rings and two rubber torix, while the HDDF Seal consists of two metal seal rings and two Belleville washers. Because of the differences between toric load rings and Belleville washers, two separate installation techniques have been developed. In order for the seals to function properly, the installation procedures must be followed correctly. Let's start with the duo cone installation procedure. First, we'll identify the critical terms encountered during duo cone seal installation. They are the seal ring, seal ring face, seal ring ramp, rubber toric, seal ring housing, housing ramp, housing retainer lip, and the installation tool. The duo cone seal creates three different seal areas, the metal to metal face, the metal seal ring to toric, and the toric to housing. In order for the seals to function properly, all sealing surfaces must be clean. Any housing surfaces that contact the rubber toric rings must be free of foreign materials such as oil, grease, dirt, metal chips, dust, and lint particles. It is also important to visually check for burrs on the housing retainer lip so the torics will not be damaged during installation. Make sure the housing ramp surfaces meet Caterpillar's surface finish specifications. These surfaces should be wiped clean with a lint-free wipe and a non-petroleum-based solvent. Inspect the rubber toric for any signs of damage, such as nicking or cutting, and to ensure that the toric is not twisted. Also, remove any foreign material from the metal face of the seal ring, from the rubber torix, and, if necessary, from the ramps of both seal rings. This should also be done with a lint-free wipe and a non-petroleum-based solvent. In some cases, it might be necessary to remove the toric. If this happens, first clean the toric with a lint-free wipe and non-petroleum-based solvent. When reinstalling the toric, lay the seal face down on a surface that will not damage the seal ring face. Place the rubber toric on the seal ring, making sure the rubber toric is straight on the seal ring and not twisted. This is done by rotating the seal hand over hand and looking at the parting line on the toric to ensure it is straight. If small adjustments are necessary, simply grasp and stretch the toric until the parting line is straight. Be careful to avoid nicking or cutting the torics during assembly, as this can cause immediate leakage. Now, let's move to the seal installation tool. In some cases, Caterpillar manufactures the same size duo cone seals with different seal ramp angles. These include 8, 15, and 20 degree seal ramps. It is important to use the correct installation tool for the seal you are installing. Place the installation tool directly onto the metal seal ring and rubber toric. Next, dampen the lower half of the rubber toric with an approved assembly lubricant. Techniques to dampen the toric include wiping with a lint-free towel or lubricating using a clean foam brush. With the lower half of the rubber toric still wet, use the installation tool to position the seal ring and the rubber toric squarely against the housing. For smaller diameter seals, use sudden and even pressure to push the rubber toric under the retaining lip of the housing. For larger diameter seals, which will not press in with sudden and even pressure, it's acceptable to work the toric past the retaining lip by placing one side of the seal into the seal housing and tapping the opposite side of the installation tool with a rubber mallet until it's engaged past the retaining lip of the housing. To avoid damage to the installation tool, do not strike it in the area where the two halves meet. Approved assembly lubricants are Quaker Solvo Clean 680, Auto Grind 60CT, and isopropyl alcohol. 
Do not use Stanisol or any other liquid which leaves an oil film or does not evaporate quickly. All applicable safety and disposal guidelines must be followed for flammable liquids. A service kit containing wipes and lubricants is available through any cat dealer. Ask for cat part number 169503. As a side note, seal groups with silicone torix can be assembled using a freezer to slightly contract the torix rings. The seal groups should be placed in a freezer for 5 minutes at minus 40 to 0 degrees Fahrenheit prior to installation. Contraction will be sufficient to allow installation. Seal groups should then re-warm to room temperature prior to further assembly. Now let's continue with the installation procedure. Check the assembled height in at least four places, 90 degrees apart, using either a caliper or any other calibrated measuring device. The difference in height around the ring must not be more than one millimeter. If small adjustments are necessary, do not push or pull directly on the seal ring. Use the installation tool to push down and your fingers to pull up uniformly on the rubber toric and seal ring. If proper assembled height variation cannot be achieved using this method, use the installation tool to remove the seal and repeat the process. The rubber toric can twist during installation if it's not wet around the entire circumference. Twists, misalignments, and bulges of the toric will result in seal failure. If correct installation is not obvious, remove the seal from the housing using the installation tool and repeat the process. Once properly in place, the rubber toric must roll on the seal and housing ramp when the seal is compressed to its final installed position. To continue, wipe the faces of each seal ring using a lint-free wipe. No particles of any kind are permitted on the sealing surfaces. Even a hair can hold the seal faces apart and cause a leak. Apply a thin film of oil on the entire seal face of both seals using a lint-free applicator. Oil used to lubricate the seal faces and the applicator should be stored in a clean, closed container to prevent contamination. Oil must not contact any surface other than the sealing faces. When bringing the seal faces together, it is important not to let the seal faces bang together. High impact can damage the seal faces or crack the seal rings. If doing a vertical assembly, Avoid allowing excessive tipping of the component being lowered onto the other component. This uneven pressure can cause the seal to cock in the seal housing, creating uneven face pressure. Make sure both housings are aligned and concentric. 